Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And today's video is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to set up this RAV power to your mobile hotspot by using a laptop to set it up. Now, setting it up with the laptop could make things a little bit easier and more smooth than trying to set it up. Um, and let me tell you why. So in the last video, I told you that basically what you do is you use, you take another device that you're not currently using, or even if you are using it, that's fine. But you have to use something as a remote control to communicate you know, from your uh, from your RAV power to your hotspot. And you can't use the phone that you're gonna use as a hotspot to com communicate and, you know, make your RAV power work because you have Wi-Fi turned on, so you can't have your hotspot turn on at the same time. So you gotta use a separate device. And what I learned from my own experience is that with the mobile app, you can potentially run into a problem that you might have problems trying to correct when you're trying to do it through the mobile app. So what happened to me, um, this is kind of a troubleshooting guide for you if you do run into this, but basically what happened is the second time I went to set up my RAV power to my mobile hotspot so I could uh, connect all the devices in my house, what happened was this router auto-connected to my neighbor's Wi-Fi onto their guest network, and uh, it's an unsecured network, which is the reason why I picked up on it. I didn't notice that it happened, so when I tried to communicate with this from my remote control device, through the app, what was happening is I couldn't get this to connect to my hotspot because it was connected to another Wi-Fi. So what happened is every time I tried to communicate with it, it kept on booting me over to a third-party website for uh, Linksys and asked me to put in an administrator password that I didn't have. And I couldn't figure out what the problem was at first. So after a bunch of trial and error, I finally realized because this little button over here that you don't see lit up right now, that's the one that lets you know that you're connected to a network. I didn't notice that was lit up. So if I had known it was connected to a network, I could have made things a little bit easier. But what I ended up doing is actually leaving my house and driving down the road a half a mile to where there was no Wi-Fi signals from anything else whatsoever. So that way I could directly communicate with it and, and set everything up. And the thing about it is that the mobile app it wouldn't let me forget the network. It wouldn't even let me get to a point where I could disconnect from that network and connect to the one I was trying to connect to. So that may be the reason why I'm making this video is to, I think that having the full use of a computer web page and communicating with your uh, RAV power could be a lot better in overcoming any issues that you may have. So instead of downloading the mobile app like I told you to in the last video, if you have a PC at your house, Guys, this is so super easy to set this up. Go over to your PC, and I'm gonna bring the camera over here now, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. All right guys, so I'm here at my personal computer, and here's my hotspot device, and here's my RAV power device. And if you notice, the battery light, or not the power, but the power, the power on light is lit, and my Wi-Fi is lit, so that lets me know that it's ready to communicate with a device through Wi-Fi. This little world button, I don't know if I can zoom in there and show you that. Yeah, there you go, that's a little better but that's not lit, so I know it's not currently connected to a network. And another thing I wanna make sure of, of course, is that my hotspot is on. So let's go over here to my visible, and my hotspot is on, and I'm currently not connected to any devices. Now over here on my personal computer, <laughs> ignore that background, I haven't changed it since I bought the computer. All right, so I switched over to the actual computer screen because I didn't wanna do that to you and have you guys have problems trying to read what's going on here. So right here, I wanna go over to my connections, and since my RAV power device is turned on and ready to accept Wi-Fi, here's my RAV file hub right here. I wanna to connect to my RAV file hub. <laughs> RAV file hub, wow, learn to talk. All right, so this might take a second because it actually has no connection. We're just communicating straight to the device right now. So once this catches up, I will show you what to do next. Okay, so now you can see the RAV file hub is, I'm connected to it, but there is, you know, there's no internet, but I am connected to it. So we're going to open up whatever your web browser is. And here's what we're gonna punch in, 10.10.10.254. That is the IP address that connects you directly to your RAV power device. And press enter. And in admin is the default, is the, uh, it's the default uh, username, so leave that the way it is. Password, you put nothing in. There is no current password. Log in. All right, so we're now connected to the RAV file hub. 
and I want to go to settings, network, internet, Okay, so it's scanned for local internets that we have sitting around. Here is Visible R2. That is my hotspot. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to punch in the password for it. 1416 doo -doo -doo. 469 SF98. I have got to change that to something easier. Save. And right now what it's doing is connecting to my mobile hotspot. All right guys, so after a couple of seconds of waiting there, I just want to show you that now we have a check mark. It is connected to my visible. So right now, that, and here's another way to tell of course, my, see how my world light is lit up now? So this should be set to go and we're gonna test it by we're just gonna go to, um, let's go to youtube.com. And just like that, I have web access and I have internet. Actually, let's type in speed test for you real quick. And let's see what kind of speed test I get. And I don't imagine it's gonna be very good because again, I'm running through, you know, from this to this, to server to this, back to this. So I don't expect the speed test to go very well, but let's see. It does know it's Verizon, that's good. Oh wow, it's showing my server as in Enid, Oklahoma. All right, so running our speed test on the download side of things right now, it looks like it's going to be somewhere around 10. Okay, so 11.03 download speed. See what kind of upload speed we get. Looks like it's gonna drop out to the threes. And 3.52. Okay, so my internet right now being connected to my hotspot to this and then sending the signal to my computer. My ping is 86 milliseconds. My download is 11.03, my upload is 3.52. Now mind you, just again to clarify, Visible no longer does the five megabits per second speed cap on their hotspots like they used to. So a lot of people are still under the misconception that they're capped at, you know, five megabits per second when it comes to hooking up their hotspot. It's just simply not true anymore. The speed that I'm getting out of my hotspot is plenty enough to run like my streaming devices and to run all of our computers and our cell phones off of. And, you know, it's perfectly fine for all that. Again, like I said in the last video, gaming, I mean, it might be a little bit iffy. Um, you might be kind of laggy if you're gaming, especially if you have it connected to everything else in your household at the same time. So guys, set up your RAV power, get some internet in your household, and go have fun. See you in the next video. Thank you.